Hi, it's Pastor Unki coming from Shepherd of the Hills Lutheran Church here in Las Vegas. I want to talk to our congregation, Shepherd of the Hills, about a ministry plan that is coming together. It's kind of coming together in an unconventional way, because normally we would present this plan to the congregation in a meeting to get your feedback and answer your questions. But since that's not possible given our circumstances and the timeline is moving forward, our church council and elders are presenting it to you in this way. So, here's the plan. A little background, Summerlin Lutheran Church has been served by Nathan Book for the past six years as their pastor. Recently, Pastor Book accepted a call to serve at a church in Benton Harbor, Michigan. And so, as of the 1st of June, Summerlin Lutheran will be without a pastor. Now, what does that have to do with us? Well, because Summerlin Lutheran has uh, struggled a bit recently. They've seen a smaller number of people coming, and they've been running a little bit behind in their finances. We thought, we being the, our church council and myself and some of the area leaders here, including our circuit pastor, Andy Miller, and our district president, John Buchholz, thought there might be a way that I and our church might be able to help Summerlin Lutheran. And so this is the plan that we are putting forward, and Summerlin Lutheran is entirely on board with the plan, as are our leaders. Summerlin Lutheran would fund a vicar who would be assigned to me. Now, before I go on with the plan, let me tell you for sure what a vicar is. You probably have a pretty good idea, but it's a lot like an apprentice. In our seminary in Milwaukee, there are four years, the third of which is called the Vicar Year. And the Vicar Year is not spent on the campus in Milwaukee, but rather out in a congregation learning from a pastor all about the ministry and learning from real people the challenges and trials that come with the ministry. And so the Vicar would be assigned to me, and between the Vicar and me, we would serve both Shepherd of the Hills and Summerlin Lutheran for one year. Now, the reason why this is a benefit for Summerlin Lutheran is because they would be able to have a pastor guiding them and teaching them right away after Pastor Book left. This congregation, which has been struggling a little bit, would have the experience and the joy of being able to have someone who is there to take them to the next place uh, already after Pastor Book leaves, rather than having to have someone fill in the pulpit and pray that over the course of time, some other pastor will come and accept the call. Of course, adding a second place, a second location to our ministry is a challenge, and hopefully that challenge would be met by having a young man come during his vicar year. We approached Wisconsin Lutheran Seminary about this idea, and they, along with President Earl Trepto, felt like this was a really good idea, a great place for a young man to come and learn because a young man, a vicar, is assigned to a pastor and not to an individual congregation. It is my responsibility to make sure he learns how to do all the pastor kind of stuff and deal with regular circumstances and have opportunities to preach and teach and counsel and, and visit the sick. And so he would be coming here to be able to serve in a congregation like ours, which is growing and having lots and lots of new people coming, and then also to try to meet the challenge of a congregation that is working hard to get back on track. We would have to be a little bit creative in our scheduling. We would have to be a little bit creative in the things that we would offer. But, of course, the benefit for Summerlin Lutheran is not only to have an experienced pastor, but also to have a young, enthusiastic vicar who is going to be there to share the word with them. There is a financial benefit for sure in funding the cost of a vicar as compared to funding a full-time pastor. Uh, and so Summerlin Lutheran would hopefully be able to use this time to get back on their feet financially. And we, Shepherd of the Hills, would get the benefit of having a young man who can uh, preach for me from time to time, help us to expand some of the ministry offerings that we have, and maybe even help us explore the idea of adding additional services and Bible classes in this location and also at Summerlin Lutheran. Now, I know for some of us people, Summerlin Lutheran is not going to be very convenient or close at all to go to anything there, but for others, it may be. 
It is located at 1911 Pueblo Vista. And if you're familiar with Summerlin at all, it is basically south of Lake Mead Parkway, east of Rampart, and west of Buffalo. That's where Summerlin Lutheran is located. So um, we hope to be able to be a blessing to them by bringing some of our ministries and some of our excitement and some of our new people to be there and to encourage them, even as they are looking to us for some help and some guidance. So uh, as this plan moves forward, it seems to me like a lot of different people are pretty excited about the possibilities. The vicar may be a single man or he may be married. He may even have children. And so we will look forward to the time when a vicar would be assigned to us. The vicar assignment day is, I believe, Thursday, May 21st. Now, I could be wrong about that, and I will get you that specifically. But by then, we will be able to know exactly who's been assigned to us. And we will need a place for him to live. And I don't mean a, a room in somebody's house. I mean he needs to have an apartment or if anybody knows of a, a home that is vacant because of some circumstances, please let me know as soon as possible because we would like to be able to provide a, a wonderful experience for a young man whose heart is set on training to become a pastor. I'm convinced that we can provide for such a young man a great experience uh, and a wonderful place to live during his vicar year. I've had the privilege of training vicars before and it is a lot of fun. It's fun for the pastor and it's fun for the congregation. And I think in this situation, it can be a great blessing for Summerlin Lutheran too, as well as a blessing for our church. So if you have any questions about this plan, please feel free to call me. I think that's probably the best way to do it. You can call me at the number that is on all of our publications and all of our videos. It's my cell phone number, 702-333-3046. And we'll keep you up to date as much as we can, hopefully, when we come together sometime soon in May.